that specific programs and government they select them and then provide a government fund to the university. So it, 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 it's this kind of like a one way. But as I mentioned before, my, my model is, is actually the university, they have to develop their own MOOC courses and then test and revise it. And then government is kind of rent their course for three years. Of course, the government, they have to pay. They give some developing and operating fees for three years. And again, the government, the, the university can uh, revise their courses based upon that fund. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, we are considering actively this kind of model. So I, I think maybe, Richard, yeah. When you say government, you mean minister of education. Yeah. And is there any department in ministry of education that take care of the MOOC? Yes, uh, one officers, he is in charge of KMOOC. And also he. No, we, we have a public selection process we have, yeah. So the, the universities and maybe, universities, they have to uh, hand in some uh, proposal. And then the Minister of Education, they establish a, a tentative committee, selection committee, and then they evaluate the proposals and then finalize which university will uh, participate in KMU or not. Yeah. But from this year, I think, uh, from last year actually, we as a pilot program, we invite some non-participating university to develop the MOOC courses and operate it. For example, the Pyeongtaek University, they are not our member university, but uh, they use their own funds developing MOOC and operating MOOC. So I think in four areas, I think the JMOOC, KMOOC, and TIMOOC, we can communicate and exchange and consider some uh, possible cooperations. So, and also they, they can benchmark. May, may I ask, how many courses intended to be Self-paced learning in KMOOC. So, so Self-paced. Self-paced, we, we don't have. You don't have. So everything would run on schedule. Yes, yeah, semester-based uh, operation. Mm -hmm. yeah. So some courses might be offered only one time only and disappeared. Yes, not disappeared. Just one, op one time in a year. So at least uh, three years, that course should be operated at least once a year. But uh, if uh, the university gets a government fund, they should operate. They should. Is that the government regulation? Yes. Our, actually, government regulation is our regulation. So we have a contract with the participating university, and then we, have, we give some kind of duty to the part participating uni university. Op 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 operate uh, once a year or twice a year, twice a year, and then for three years. Yes. It's, it's, it's a duty. After two years.
the Office of Higher Education Commission. Oh, you, you have the, yes. the top right. <laughs> yes. Wow, <laughs> that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. But, but uh, not uh, exclusive, meaning that the, the, the teacher can use the, the intellectual property in their teaching, and also they can use for their promotion in, in the academic promotion. Uh, no problem, no, no need to ask for permission. But the Office of Higher Education have the right to keep and to right. open, operate. Yes, but the, the mm -hmm. issue is, I think, you need to revise or improve the course because like a, if a course operated by, operated uh, for three years, the contents may be out of date. So you need to improve or update the course. How? Yes. We, we think about to support grant them another, another time to revise the course, but now we can, we, we can select what course that very popular or famous or the quality is good, and then we, we grant them to revise the course. But we can utilize the course. We ask them uh, to, to provide is at a self pace mean that any learning activity that needs the teacher interaction, we will separate it from the course and then leave it as a self-paced model. So the learner, they can learn by their own uh, pace. Yeah. you need to consider in the future this this kind of platform in your lifelong courses yeah also offered by the university you mean what lifelong courses mean you also have several lifelong courses 
course, uh, some courses for lifelong learning? Uh, not, not exactly. Not uh, most of courses are has been have been provided by higher education institutions. Yes, but some courses is for uh, adult learners. So we do not have a specific courses for uh, specific like a lifelong courses. We, we do not have. But most of courses are uh, utilized and learned by adult learners. So we say the KMOOC will be a lifelong learning platform. Size, sum, or lifelong learning. Yeah. So I should wonder that if a lifelong learning, if normally lifelong lear learning courses generally not not offered by university, yeah. but yeah. our regulation to it, we have to and all have, the courses have to yeah. develop yeah. <coughs> under university. Yeah. And that's a quite contrast because mm -hmm. it tried to like a make formal education mm -hmm. to the informal education. Yes. And that's why if Korean doesn't have that, then we we cannot we cannot learn it from you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, just just on this on this issue, I have been thinking about the uh, business model for Thai MOOC. Uh, in the birth of Thai MOOC. One thing that I have been um, thinking of is the concept of Udami. Udami, yeah. Udami. Uh, that is sustainable by mass, but uh, it will become more of a knowledge market, not higher education, mm -hmm. not, yeah. not formal yeah. degree yeah. program, yeah. but more yeah. of a um, practical issue. But in um, Asian countries, we haven't got something like that yet. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure. Maybe one day, if we are at the right time, um, thinking about this kind of MOOC just for the sustainability and for yeah. um, practical courses, not not formal courses. Maybe one day we 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 will derive. So it. maybe this year, uh, maybe you or someone in our platform can organize a small meeting about this, this MOOC sustainability. So we can consider the many uh, property models, uh, like Udemy model or rent, rent models, and social contribution models. Th there are lots, lots of models. So uh, we cannot uniformly apply that model to our platforms. But still, you can have some insight from our uh, discussions, I think. Yeah. If, if, if I contrast that, it will be like open courses. Mm -hmm. be yes, right. Th it, it's kind of a conflict. Yeah. Yes, of course. But uh, uh, Japan, uh, JMOOC has an advantage for uh, the profit models because your courses, uh, most of courses, uh, focused on the skill development and job-related courses. So you have an advantage, definitely. And also, the KMU will we change our course contents into uh, skill development and job-related courses. Higher, con higher education contents is not for retraining re of the company employers. So we, I think the next director of the KMU will seriously consider the changing uh, contents of our KMOOC. Otherwise, we cannot survive in the future. But as you say, you can't yes, right. Yes, yes. The yes. So, so maybe I, I think open market can be kind of like uh, accommodate, yes, yes, something like that. So Udemy, of course, a very good profit model. But you, as you mentioned, some conflict. Originally, you opened like a public free course for everyone. Now, you ask the learners to pay for your course? It's not open copyright. Yes. It's a big conflict. Yes. 
Yeah, uh, actually, uh, Fizdom, uh, Fujitsu provide the platform called Fizdom, and uh, some of the courses are JMOOC certificated uh, courses, mm -hmm. but some are privately registered uh, courses. And for example, some courses include uh, how to use Microsoft uh, Office yeah. product. Yeah. Like uh, Fujitsu has the uh, learning uh, education related Fujitsu group company. Mm -hmm. So we ask them to create uh, that kind of content. And also we have some course for the uh, school teachers uh, to uh, about uh, how to teach programming mm -hmm. in high school or in junior high school. So that course is more related to, I think, lifelong education yeah. and a uh, little bit different from the academia. Yeah. So PISDAM and Japanese uh, uh, platform provider might know some uh, kind of uh, business oriented or lifelong oriented yeah, content. Or others mm -hmm. to develop this course, this course, this course, this course, and uh, if the learners finish this and Fujits, mm -hmm. they test them. Mm -hmm. If 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 they pass, and then they get a certificate from your platform or Fujits, mm -hmm. and then if they apply for Fujits, maybe they may be employed mm -hmm. by Fujits, something like that. So that is paid course. They should be paid course, mm -hmm. not free. Mm -hmm. But it's different from the courses that we are providing now. So that is the nano model, nano degree model of Utah City. So the company certified, approved the courses. And then actually, we are still uh, doing brainstorming yeah. <laughs> in uh, how to earn money from yeah. uh, platform. Yeah. But uh, another uh, another case is uh, we charge uh, the platform service fee yes, for uh, the spoke use. Ah, I see. So if the we uh, if the university wants to provide. Uh, courses yeah. for the massive yeah, uh, yeah. online, then we don't charge. Mm -hmm. But if uh, if the university want to provide yes, the right, course yeah. only that's, for that's their uh, students, a, a, then a kind of uh, profit model. Yeah. The fund mode they adopt that model. That model. So if a company wants to use that course as a spoke, they should pay. Something like that. So still we we still open the course. But we can get some money. Yeah. Maybe quite different from the Japanese, because Japanese you have a good discipline. For the Thai, we will we never will pay if we can get it for free. <laughs> it's, it's, it may be dif different on this this sense. And if you <coughs> if you have choice on if you want to use you have to pay, and another one they can use for free, and that for me I understand that for company you prefer to pay. Not take free for client, but I think for Thai, we on the opposite. We will take everything for free first. So. It, In Japan, there are some man, many, many uh, pre premium models exist. So the, I think the, uh, the com content charge model is uh, out of date. Yes. So the content itself is free, 
free of charge, but the uh, certification, if you want and uh, so uh, uh, cert uh, strongly certified, uh, maybe uh, it should be charged. Yes, uh, the certificate charge. Uh, so for what? If I have a certificate from JMU course, if some company they acknowledge our my, my certificate it is it will be useful so like a, our profit model should like a, go like in tandem with the social recognition and usage something like that so I, I think that that's a, one of our uh, profit model we are considering now so we are considering about 11 models now so like YouTube model, mm -hmm. yes, mm -hmm. and social contribution model. So if uh, just as the big companies, they develop and operating books for social contributions. <laughs> so it means we need to find, identify the companies, and then we appreciate them. If you. Uh, upload some contents on our platform. You have some this kind of benefits, blah 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 blah, blah. and oh yes, good, <laughs> yes, something like that. It's very hard, but still worse. But yes, or the as the case of the Coursera and Udacity, like the subscription rate, month monthly based or yearly based subs subscription. But paid. So that's the problem. Well, uh, another question. <coughs> I remember the uh, you mentioned before uh, the uh, university uh, uh, would like to uh, uh, create and provide their courses. Uh, if you uh, certify that, uh, you provide the. Uh, uh, Fifty thousand US dollar. Yes, fifty thousand per, per course, yes. and up to two courses you provide for the grant, right? First year two courses mm -hmm. development and operating fee, and second year three cor three courses development and operating fee. And if last year you developed the two courses, this year we provide operating fee for the two courses. So uh, now we don't, uh, we are not going to select more leading uh, MOOC universities. But until last year, we select 10 universities as a MOOC leading university. So they have kind of privilege of uh, every year uh, they get secure the uh, MOOC development and operating funds from government. So first year two courses, second year five three courses, and third year three courses. So in total uh, eight courses, and then uh, every year they get operating fund from the government. Yeah. No discounted. Yeah. Still same same the price. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then after three years, no fund for operating and. So that's the problem. So we are seriously considering introducing the profit model to our program. Really serious. Already, the participating university, uh, which uh, which uh, entered the KMO in 2015, as you can see, our presentations: the Seoul, Korea, Yonsei, top-notch universities they don't get any further fund from us. So maybe they just drop their course, 10 so, courses. So you have to introduce the, the uh, new, uh, some uh, monetization <coughs> method from the uh, 2019, right? Maybe, maybe, maybe 12, 12, 2021 20 20 or 2020. Uh, 2020. 20. Serious, serious problem. Really, serious, serious issues. 
So up, uh, at the end of this year, we plan to have over uh, 500 courses in our platform. But I'm 500 sure. is a very important number. Key, yes. key numbers. Yes, the key, yes. It's kind of like entry, very important. And 2020, maybe a thou thousand courses, but I'm not sure. H how can I secure the, those uh, contents? And also, after three years, the courses uh, developed in the last three years uh, out of date. So we need to improve the, the courses. So we have no fun. It's, it's really recurring issues. At the moment, all courses still in the operation. Yes, so but from, from this coming yeah. March, the courses uh, which, are, which were in, entered on in 2015, 27 courses, will not operate anymore. Actually, we, we, we lost, we have lost already 27 cores. <laughs> so currently now... The chance that they not, not offer courses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very high. So the 10 universities, they ask us to find out some way of supporting their courses, operating courses. And none, none themselves? No. No, they, they don't. They don't. Mo most of them, they don't. Yeah. Because of the uh, restic restricted fund. So. <laughs> but still, they, they need some fund to give uh, the TA. How can you motivate your Thai universities to continue operating courses? I don't know, but for my course, I haven't got paid. <laughs> <laughs> so, but you should give some award to Michael. No, no, not not only me. There, there is a delay because uh, we need to to get the money at a bunch with other courses. So this is not a complaint, but the driving force. It's not about yeah, the money. Uh, uh, it is about um, knowing how to teach Thai MOOC and uh, be able to continue. Uh, with, with this, uh, I'm not quite sure if uh, uh, for Thai MOOC, we are talking now about gamification for Thai MOOC. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is uh, going to be uh, one of the integral part. So I'm not quite sure if uh, Japan MOOC and Korean MOOC do have gamification features, for example, certain kind of badges or certain ways how to motivate um, learners for intrinsic motivation. If so, then I would like to, to hear from you. And uh, if possible, maybe if we can think of common gamification system so we can encourage our learners in the same direction. Mm -hmm. For example, if we utilize open badges from openbatch.org, then that is a kind of unification format so we can utilize that to, to promote uh, our courses together. And also for the um, provider, the provider can also get some kind of badges so it will be uh, meaning to them. Mm -hmm. If they contributed many good courses, good content, they get one kind of badge. Yeah. So I'm not quite sure if you, you have that. That's that not a good idea, but uh, uh, not that, but uh, Actually, since 2015, we annually, we select the best courses and best professors in MOOC uh, based on some indicators. And from this year, we will, uh, it's kind of like Amazon.com uh, book, books. So we ask uh, learners to evaluate the course. So put some stars and then they can write a review. Like a yep, yes, something like that. And then maybe, I'm not sure, but they will uh, give some badge to the learners. 
Yes, of course, yes. Public, yes. It's, it's kind of evaluation of courses for learners, not our, not us. They can, they can choose on the basis of review. So it doesn't come automatically. It, it will require further investigation. Yeah. It is not like when you enroll in Khan Academy, mm. where you pass one course, then you get higher badge. Mm. If you pass it very well, high mark, mm. high score, you get another kind of badge. Mm. So it's, it's not yeah. like that. Not, not, not like that. Yeah. But consider that. And also, the in, in, in terms of course uh, design, I think game, gamification is uh, one of the essential feature of course design. So some uh, MOOC courses in Coursera and some, some courses they use, they adopt the gamification on their course design. So learners, they can like uh, enter and then follow and they, they can make something. Uh, to me, it is more than, a little bit more than that. For example, we can identify which learner tend to be serious learner. Mm -hmm. This group of learners tend to finish the course. Yeah, yeah. Another group, window shopping. Mm -hmm. Another group just log in for the sake of, yeah. of having uh, their name in the course list. Uh, there would be four groups of people, actually. So, so we can then predict so many things, predict number of um, people who will really pass. Then we can allocate enough resource in advance, so that would be one thing. And of course, we can identify star courses, star tutor, star lecturers. Mm -hmm. So for Thai MOOC, we see this one as a big potential. But in terms of implementation, it would be challenging, so I'm not quite sure yet how to do that. But uh, I hope that since this is a kind of collaboration between Japan, Korea, and Thailand MOOC, if we can think of something in the same direction to begin with, and then maybe in a few years from now, we, we may have something yeah. that we can utilize in common. Yeah, yeah. Good. Like, I like uh, you, you have to break down the, our uh, area of cooperation into very small ones, like a, uh, the gamification and profit model, something like that. So I mentioned like ar around 12, 12 uh, issues, area of issues, issue areas. So we can break down each, and then we have a small uh, workshop, and then we consider together. And then maybe uh, one pro platform, apply, adopt first, and then maybe other platform maybe later, because it depends on the local context. So that's, that's the... I'm so sorry, I could not be here this morning, so I missed out of your presentations. I'm not quite sure when you say 12 areas of cooperation, uh, would that already have gamification in it, or? Not yet, but some, yeah. Already, we, 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 we give some uh, honorary star professor and course, best course, something like that, in offline. Op but in the future, we put some badge on the best course and best uh, professors, something like that. Okay, now come out. I, I would like to, to uh, have for you for for you consider about our uh, discussion can we find some uh, opportunity or some some possible um, activities to do together from now on maybe some activity maybe on next year or on the third year maybe some activity we can starting now can we can we find some possible opportunity possible activity to do together. For example, that I, I, I propose some or from the, the point of view from Michael about the gamification. If there are some interested from professor in both sides to find some, some 
new way of teaching or new strategy of teaching using gamification, maybe that's uh, another possibility. Uh, I, I, uh, please allow me to back to my last slide that proposed about the area of co uh, collaborative activities. I, I would like to to ask you to consider one by one. For example, uh, exchange exiting code. Is it possible? Mean mean that we we exchange the code that we have already in our our MOOC system, but we can agree that maybe we can se select some some criteria for the cost that exiting that we can share. For example, uh, language, Japanese language to foreign people, Thai language to foreign people, something like this. This will benefit uh, people in our country, or maybe uh, some culture courses in 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 each country that that you prefer. For example, you may may prefer Thai food. How to cook Thai food? Cause maybe we have some. We can exchange with you how to cook Japanese or Korean food, something like this. Maybe just a starting point that we 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 can learn from that. We can learn from the the behavior of the learner, the culture of the learner. Maybe starting from small point. One of the model for the uh, translation, it's uh, not the uh, actual uh, JMOOC model, but uh, the another uh, NPO. <coughs> I, I myself is involved as uh, the uh, president of that uh, NPO. It's the uh, named ASCA Academy. They provide the uh, 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 world OER contents to the Japanese uh, runners after the translation. The translation is made by the uh, totally, completely uh, by uh, volunteers. And uh, the volunteers, just uh, the personal volunteers, not only just volunteers, but also the uh, organizational translation, translators. Organization means the, the uh, uh, university level uh, activity or uh, the high school level activity. Uh, those are uh, translations very effective and the very high quality uh, because they, uh, they are, uh, uh, have the uh, pride to be the uh, 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 volunteers for the uh, uh, social activity as the uh, uh, con social contribution, one of the social contribution. So this is the maybe one of the uh, 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 case uh, the uh, JMOOC not, uh, at the moment uh, has not uh, uh, started that activity, but uh, the ASC Academy is uh, one of the uh, JMOOC's members. So I think it's uh, not uh, uh, the uh, not impossible, maybe possible way, uh, and uh, 
uh, regarding their English and uh, uh, Korean, maybe it's uh, the, uh, relatively easier to find out the uh, uh, bilingual in Japan. Uh, unfortunately, maybe the Thailand language is uh, something I, I, I am not sure, but uh, uh, in Thailand, <coughs> I think the uh, bilingual Thai language and uh, the Japanese uh, language, you can, uh, we can find uh, um, not, not difficult. It's in my image, um, personal image, but uh, so uh, the <coughs> exchanging the uh, contents is, uh, I think, also it's a very nice idea to move forward. There, there will be man, many models uh, from Thai side. If we agree on exchange, more courses, maybe uh, the Office of Higher Education, we can fund the university, Thai university, to translate. If you have a Japanese language or Korean language, uh, we can fund them to translate. And and uh, on on top of the translation, maybe we can connect the university that you that, that is the 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 provider providing university with the university that was fun to translate. They will connect and maybe they can discuss about the the the, the correctness of the translation. Maybe develop more collaboration among university. There there may be many models, but but on on the level of uh, provider platform, if we agree, we can continue to to plan the the the. The this project about action. In Japan, similar situation. So the uh, <coughs> copyright <coughs> uh, existing uh, university, uh, the JMUC has only the right to provide just. All our idea is uh, the, uh, using the volunteer. Yeah. To is it more more easy if each country translate from local language to English, and then we maybe exchange? It more more easier for other country to translate English to their own local language. That we should find the. The good model, but can I summarize that this is a possible uh, collaborative activity among us? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and then we will we will find we will uh, work in detail of how to we can do together. I I I I would like to propose about the area of the course that uh, very in context of the country. Not the science, the uh, very. I, I mean about the culture, the languages, the everything that very specialized. That if we learn from the native, it's very, very good and very motivated to learn. That that I I, I propose that this this area is the priority category of courses that we looking forward to action.
Holy we Japan. Seven, seven huh? We have seven Korean language courses. Yeah, so we can. We don't have. We don't need translation. We just use that. <laughs> Only we have to learn uh, some. Have some learning time. Okay. You mean the Korean courses is there to, for the person who would like to learn Korea yeah, in English, yeah. right? What is the, the target of this course for the foreign foreigner that go to Korean? And Not exactly, just, just somebody who are interested in Korean language. Mm. Wow. Uh, may I add, in Thailand, there is a Korean education and culture center nearby here. They are re responsible for teaching Korean language to many Thai people for different reasons. First, Thai wife, Thai woman get married to Korean guy. Before they can migrate to, yeah. to Korea, they have to pass certain level of examination. And two okay. years ago, yeah, topic based. And two years ago, uh, ASEAN Cyber University Project did commission uh, Korea Cyber University to create some content already available. No, but this is government by Korean government, so it has that kind of privilege. So if it is not just by any school, it is by Korean government, endorsement level is very high. Second thing is the tour guide. Thai tour guide who look after Korean tourists. Thai tour guide do already have permit, but they don't really understand Korean culture. So they cannot look after Korean people well enough. So they have another kind of program. But they cannot cope. The office is small. Mm -hmm. They cannot train enough. So they need something like this. So if we can have something in common that they can utilize, well, I think we already have market. Yeah, we can get the yes, sir. Yes. From, from this center under Korean government, maybe in partnership with our initiative. I think for the Japanese uh, academia side, uh, one of the motivation might be to get more uh, foreign students from, for example, Korea or Thailand studying in Japan. So I think uh, the beginner level of the Japanese language course might be good uh, for not for only for the uh, course learners, but also the course provider, university can also benefit, I think. Uh, the seven courses, uh, uh, 
I, I, I would like to suggest that maybe uh, if it's difficult because you have many uh, very strong copyright issue in Japanese and maybe in Korean also. So if it's difficult to to exchange, I, I mean to upload the content in other platform, uh, uh, different from 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 your your own platform. Maybe we can starting from you open and allow uh, other country people to learn from your platform, but have uh, some special uh, condition to allow, and then then they can learn from your platform. Anybody? Want? Yes, right. Anybody? Oh, Evil foreigner. Yes, right. It's a very uh, <coughs> limited courses, but uh, uh, some courses are provided in English from Jap Japanese uh, pro uh, Japanese platforms, uh, and Fizam uh, uh, Fujitsu. <coughs> Uh, also provided the uh, English courses the, as a first course, and the uh, uh, net training course, uh, Open Learning Japan also, they can provide not only the Japanese English and maybe Korean the Chinese. Actually, for the uh, uh, the uh, Mahzam said, the uh, for Japanese <coughs> uh, university person, their uh, aim is uh, to get more uh, student from the uh, foreign countries. So to uh, realize that, the uh, uh, better way is uh, to provide from the uh, those countries platform like uh, Korea and Thailand. I just worry about the copyright issue, but but is it possible? This is the best best way we can exchange and, and provide it with our own platform. The the possible activity. Okay, I I. Could, could I uh, go to the next uh, purport? Uh, do we can do a co-research or comparative research? Uh, this is the, the topic that uh, we mentioned in this morning about quality assurance. If it's possible, maybe we nominate uh, the researcher from each platform, and maybe they can work together. And they yeah. The procedure. To share the uh, current version of their uh, cost guide range, each other, we agree with that. So, in from from Thai MOOC side, we the the, uh, the head of the researcher maybe Dr. Pravinda, but maybe uh, more researcher from Thai side. But you can nominate. Uh, thing we, we, we can do is just only provide our uh, current version so uh, it's very difficult to uh, translate uh, from now in a short time no just the Japanese only okay <laughs> 
I I think if if you have any researcher, mean the the teacher, faculty member in the university that interest in this area, you can nominate and they they can work together. So, but uh, the <coughs> it's my my uh, at, at the moment my personal opinion level, but uh, we are not trying to <coughs> make the translation in a uh, James Coffey's uh, the uh, tr uh, current version to the uh, English. But uh, uh, after the discussion, <laughs> the uh, at the moment we cannot. I cannot uh, the promise that. Okay, so I, I will summarize that this is another possibility too, and and it will be led by led by Thai MOOC researcher, right? And then uh, both J MOOC and K MOOC will provide the guideline in uh, maybe in English. English version and and uh, provide support for for the Thai researcher maybe answer question if so Okay. Okay. Thank you. So, how about analyze analyze the learn, learning behavior in our operating MOOC course comparative one, study? Uh, I, I, I will suggest that maybe when the Korea University opened the MOOC course, maybe uh, recruit some Thai students to learn. Or Tomorrow in the afternoon session, 
I I I will share about our uh, summarize in this session and with two program together maybe we can summarize or conclude some some possible activity with with the agreement from all stakeholder or party. Okay, and regarding the running uh, anal analytics field, uh, in Japan we uh, start the uh, research group for the running analytics. Uh, at the moment, the biggest uh, uh, group uh, of the running analytics in uh, Japanese universities is, is uh, Kyoto University and uh, the uh, 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 Rida of uh, <coughs> Running Analytics Center in Kyoto University uh, agreed to uh, cooperate with the JMUC. So uh, we'd like to uh, join that uh, uh, for the uh, project as they are, uh, our uh, research project uh, cooperation. It means that when at the time of Korea University run the book, run the MOOC course, maybe we can recruit some yeah, students the from. Ah, the yes. Japanese learners and high learners, especially the Florida University students, they take this course. Take the course from so Korea. Yeah. So they are three nation, three country students learn the same best, same course, and then we will we will see and what uh, will happen. Okay. Yeah, you can conduct a very small expert meeting or consultative meeting, something. And, and all, all faculty members that participate in this project, they can discuss about the result and maybe co-publish some article yeah. in the journal. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, what to possible agenda? Then the third agenda, I, I think uh, I could, could I ask uh, Yoshimi Sensei if you, or, or Dr. So, you have any idea about co host? ACM MOOC or ASEM MOOC? Post tech, right? If they, it is uh, the ASEM Muxel, first ASEM Muxel Summit, the uh, KMUC should host that. Yeah, they are we, reasonable. We, we, we have fun for ASEM Muxel hmm. So anyway... Okay.
US dollars for a single stakeholder forum for the next five years. So every way, every year anyway, the NIA has to <coughs> align that name. So in the middle of that year, Uh, it's a long case study for the uh, Open Education Consortium's uh, annual meeting. Uh, it starts from the 2000, uh, actually 2005, uh, uh, 6 or something. So the first three years, the Utah State University hosted. After the, uh, uh, the uh, organization launched, uh, the, <coughs> the host uh, university uh, changed rotated, rotation rotated uh, uh, system. The first uh, uh, host uh, company was uh, Japan. The Kyoto University hosted that in 2000, uh, it is 2006. So f f maybe 2004, six, uh, four, five, the uh, three, four, five. So uh, U uh, U U University hosted. Then the uh, many university hosted that. Actually, uh, the uh, uh, this year, the uh, uh, Technological University of Delft, TU Delft, hosted that in April. Okay. With, uh, yeah. Okay. So, how can I summarize the third agenda about the conference? We will leave it. Which is the uh, formal representative? So the uh, uh, government level, you uh, the no, intent. It depends.
so I I <laughs> I will summarize that we will have a next next meeting in uh, to to next meeting all of us will attend ASEM MOOC conference maybe on May 2018, right? Uh, in the forum, you can talk about the, the collaboration. The collaboration. Mm. You, can, you can present some progress reports. Very short. And then talk about the <coughs> next steps. May, May or October, October, right? May or October. Okay. Tentative, okay. Wow. <laughs> oh, I think I need go to <laughs> Okay, I this is only three proposal from that that we have already discussed. Do you have other proposal to to propose? May I? Uh, there there has been a discussion since last year that Malaysia MOOC would like to also join us, uh, J MOOC, K MOOC, Thai MOOC. But yes, yes, yes. Uh, it's I'm my issue. She really wants to join. Mm. Uh, and also, if you know, it's my She's a uh, chair of. Yes, yes, I know. Yes, I know. And he wants to join this. Uh, oh, welcome. <laughs> no problem to. Uh, welcome them. Is it possible to use this opportunity to invite more than Malaysia, maybe Indonesia, Philippines, they, they all have their yes. national MOOC platform? Yes. Because but all, all, all those countries are members of the MOOC. So we, how can we start? We Do we have to invite by ourselves or we take the opportunity of as a MOOC to discuss about extend. So, mm. uh, Practically, the uh, in the uh, East Asian uh, region, the uh, Koreans should be the main reader. <laughs> national initiative in ASEAN.
โอเค we we have a discussion and we still consider that we have to to carefully think about it but very positive I think very positive but uh, it demand uh, many resources and also time that we have to contribute but very very good thing that we should do let let me think about it have a internal meeting but uh, this year in this year TCU will have many activity including the many expert forum small group discussion like this so maybe it's a good opportunity to 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 take that that event in, in some meeting and we will be of course we will let you know very first person after we make decision okay so at least we have two possible collaborative activities together maybe more in the future okay I think we work very hard and from one o'clock until now four o'clock without any break <laughs> we serve the break inside the room so do you have any point to to suggest to comment or to recommend for our collaborative activity Okay, so I, I think we are uh, very tired now, so uh, please take some rest. We will have dinner together on 6 o'clock in the same place at the lunch time. 6, today is 6, yeah. So you, you we have some time to walk around. <laughs> <laughs> 